All right, in the last video, we looked at how to add a choice field to our application, and this was what we get, okay? But this was hard coded in the models. So when users wants to add more choice fields in the category, they'll have to involve the developer or they go into the source code and add the category items in the choice list. So in this video, we want to take care of that. We want the users to be able to add in the choice list from the front end of the application, all right? So they can go in and then add any items or any category they want to add in the category list and they will be able to pick it when adding the items in the database. Okay, so this also will be a very quick video and a very simple one, all right? So we have all the codes right here. So we're gonna go into the models and then create a class called category. Okay, so we're gonna give it a field and then field will be name. So let's copy this code and paste it in models.py. So I'm gonna paste it just above the start class. Okay, so we have a category model and we're gonna have one field in it, which is gonna be the name of the category. Okay, so we're gonna return self.name. All right, so I'm gonna save it. So you're gonna save it and then do make migration final manager py make migrations then migrate all right so we have this um, model created in the database okay so we can confirm that it is created by opening um, an sqlite browser so I'm gonna browse for the database. Right here we have the category table. Okay, so if I so if I expand that, we have ID and the name. Okay, so we can move to the next step. That is to um, update the stock table and modify the category field to be a foreign key field. Okay. So now I'm going to copy this and then compare with what we have. So right there, um, if I paste it above it. So right here we have a category as a character field, okay, which was a choice field. We're going to change it to a foreign key field. I'm going to copy that and paste it right here. And then erase this part. Alright, so it's going to be a foreign key field. and it will be linked to a table called category. So whatever we put in this table will be seen in the list of categories in the stock table, okay? All right, so we're gonna add on delete cascade. So that means anytime I delete a category, the corresponding data will be deleted. If not, we're gonna have a data that is pointing to a category that does not exist, okay? So if you have any data previously in your application, like if I click on the list item we had data previously in this table okay in the stock table what we just did is change this category field to a foreign key field and what that means is we will have to have a category field id okay replacing this furniture okay so now if i save this data and i try to do make migration migrate we will have an error because this would expect an ID field and currently what we have is a string okay so that will give us an error right there so what I will do is I know that I have a category called furniture I also have another one called IT equipment phones and electronic okay so I'm gonna go into the category table and create all these categories in them okay so I will now replace this furniture with the ID of the furniture category. I'm gonna do that just now. But if you don't have any data in this table, you can just save this, do make migration and then migrate and then you can start adding data, okay? But we have data already in that table, we will have an error. So to fix this, I'm gonna register this table, add the categories and then update this table to reflect that category or to point to a particular category in the category table okay so i'm gonna go to admin.py and then register the category
and the model is category all right so i'm gonna make sure it's imported here we can just import star and then save this so i'm going to go to admin and then confirm that it is updated and we can add data to the admin localhost slash admin we have the category right here i'm gonna click it and create categories in it okay so we have uh, furniture i'm gonna give it category one so i'm gonna add furniture right here and then click save so this the first category i added so automatically this will have an id of one okay so i'm gonna go to the next category id equipment and then add another category save it so this will be category with id number two we have another one phone and uh, electronic I have phone and electronic okay so if I save all of this I have the first category which is the furniture as ID 1 ID 2 the ID equipment we have ID 3 right there and then ID 4 we can also see this information from the database okay I'm gonna reopen this database and then confirm that we have the categories with the correct ID okay so I'm gonna right click this and then browse table so you can see we have the furniture as ID 1 and ID Cuban as ID 2 like ID 3 and ID 4 all right so I'm gonna update this table and again you don't have to do this if you don't have any data in your stock table so I'm just trying to avoid errors that's why I'm doing these steps okay all right so I'm gonna go back to database structures go to stock right click and then click browse table okay so i'm gonna scroll all the way on the right so we have the category so furniture was id number one so i'm gonna give it one and then click ok i'm gonna give this one as well one save it equipment was category number two save it i'll do the same for all of this all right so phone was category three and then electronics was number four right so I'm gonna write changes okay so now I can do make migration and migrate so we have this notification that there might be some existing data that doesn't have an ID in that column so what I will do with this is I'm gonna give it a default one select number one press enter and then I'm gonna give it one as a default I'm gonna click okay and i'm gonna do migrate again okay so i'm gonna go to the application and then confirm that all the data is updated accordingly all right so because we added the id of the category for each of these data we have the data intact okay so the message that we saw before the screen that's this message right here if we didn't update the data to have all the fields to have the right IDs for each of the data it would have replaced the entire column with an ID of one and that means all this data here will be in the furniture category all right so because we updated the data we added the right category ID so we were able to maintain the category of each of the item right here we are having this category I'm gonna go to the admin and add one extra category let's say toys I'm gonna click save okay so if I go back to the application and click refresh and click category I should be able to have toys category right here okay so I'm gonna click toys and then item name will be so I'm gonna give it doll quantity let's give it 20 and click save All right so we have that data right here okay so this is how to add a category with a drop-down list from another table okay so with all the extra steps that i've done i did that because i have an existing data okay so if your table if the stock table was just empty all the steps you need is this okay so you don't have to go in there and then start updating the existing data and so on okay all right so in another video 
we will have a menu up here where we can click in and add categories without going to the admin okay so i hope you enjoyed this video if you do click on the like button don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video